Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've had to do a voiceover because when filming this video, the kids have been home with um, really wet weather. So they've been set home for like a day and a half. So I've just had to do it this way. I'm sorry about that, but I'll just run through what I got this week. Uh, this is a Woolworths shop and I've spent around about $199 on groceries. Okay, so um, we did eat a chicken already tonight. So we had a chicken and bread rolls as well. So that's sort of already gone. So I'll start down this end first. I just grabbed a bag of these Cheezels Puff Cheese. I just got them just to, as a filler for the lunch boxes, and that will last me around about a week. And I just put a little handful in here and there. I've also got some of our pitted Kalamata olives. We really love these olives and we go through them really quickly. So I definitely had none in the stockpile cupboard. I got some of this bread. I love this bread. This is just that grain bread from Woolworths. I haven't had it in ages. So we just picked up a loaf of this and this is like the high top um, seeds and grains. It says there and it's low GI. Um, yeah, I just got that one. And also I got a thing of buns as well. They didn't have any other bread. There was no white bread, brown bread, nothing else on the, on the shelf. So this is all I could get. And I'm just making some Vegemite rolls for the kids and freezing them for next week. I also got a coconut because my youngest has been begging me for a, for a coconut. This was around about $4.00. So I ended up just getting him one to keep the peace. I got a bag of red onions. Um, so our shop didn't have a lot of things in it. I just grabbed what I can. I think this was this one here was the last bunch of spinach, but it was down to around about $3 something a bunch. So it wasn't a bad price, but there was nothing else. Like there was just a bunch of spinach and some onions and things like that. And I did manage to get another punnet of tomatoes. So, you know, I'm pretty grateful because some people haven't been able to get anything. So... I was lucky to get what I did and we just do what you can do with what you've got. I got some watermelon as well and um, yeah, I'm just going to chop this up and the kids can eat it over the weekend and just some red grapes because the, the kids like grapes and they're easy for me to just chop up and put into the bento lunchbox as another like fruit for the day for school. I've also just grabbed some continental cream and mushroom soup. My husband uses these in omelettes. And we've got absolutely no rice in the house. I can't believe it. I usually buy that huge bag of basmati rice, but we didn't have any. So I just grabbed that one. You know, we don't eat a lot of rice, but it's good to have. Now, pasta was another thing that we were down um, in our house. Not one bag of pasta left. There might be some macaroni, but no other pasta. So I just got some large spirals, um, uh, some bow ties, the San Remo brand. And also just some spaghetti as well because this was probably the only brand I think on the shelf at the time. So just grab that one. Also, I grabbed some Pantene, just running low on shampoo and conditioner there. I don't really stock up on a lot of shampoo and conditioner because our family doesn't go through it that quickly, I find. And I don't use a lot of it. So it's not something that I really stock up on and it lasts me for ages. I just picked up a lot of canned fruit. I was lucky that they had some on the shelves because I really love having peaches in the stockpile cupboard. So I just grabbed two cans there. I didn't want to get a lot of things at the moment. I do want to get my stockpile cupboard up and going, but it's got a lot in it and it's not the right time to do stockpiling because I just want to take what just I just want to get what we need and that's it. I just got some of the lucky dog 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 food for my dog, just a three kilo bag there because he's starting to not like the other dog food that he's got. I'm just sort of mixing them together. Um, uh, now with the soups, I did pick up some soup because I didn't have any left. So I just got some hearty beef. I got some of the Campbell's spaghetti sauce. We haven't had this in a while. My family's not that fond on it, but you know, it's great. It's It's got beef in it. Can't complain. You can mix it with some more pasta or whatever. I like to have this in the cupboard sometimes, you know, and it is a good basic food. I got some chicken noodle soup because the kids love to eat this and this is their favourite soup. And I also got a pumpkin soup, I think, as well. I got two chicken noodle soups and I also got a pumpkin soup, you know. So once everything, you know, comes back with all the – once the shops get filled up with groceries, I will stockpile on a lot more of the soups because I find that is something that our household need a lot of. And some pasta sauce as well, just the big bottle, a 700 gram bottle here. I find this a lot sweeter than the other ones, and it is really nice. 
My kids wanted some iced finger buns, so they had them on the shelf, luckily. So I just grabbed some of them and they will do them for the weekend. I just halve them up and put some butter on them. I got some um, at cage eggs. I didn't get the free range this week. I just grabbed the cage ones. All you can get is what's available at the time, I guess. Okay, I did get only, you're only allowed two, two things of milk this week. So we just got two of the three litres. I'm really happy that they're starting to do this. I wish they would have done it with the toilet paper and things like that too. It just stops people from overbuying and you just get what you need and that's all. Um, I've got some of the Easy Green Juice. I really like to have this and I haven't bought it in a while. I've got some sour cream and some thickened cream just to have in the fridge, you know, as a, a standby. And also just their um, pouch yogurts, the strawberry yogurts. These ones are pretty cheap. I think they're about 75 cents, something like that. And these were on special after I'd already picked them up and put them in the trolley. So these were a dollar. So this, they always seem to come down for a dollar, this um, brand. So, um, you know, it's not a bad price. I also got our garlic bread that we like so much. Just pop that in the fridge because it's great to have with something. And this week we are going to have a spaghetti bolognese and I'll just pop that with the spaghetti, the garlic bread. Um, they had some cold meats in, to, in the store, which I was happy about. So I just got a salami and I also got a ham. One boy likes salami, one the other boy likes ham. So, you know, that's fine. I grabbed some one of these cheesecakes because I think this was on special as well this week. And... They're great. They're really nice. And I haven't tried the avocado slices. So I just grabbed a bag of these because, you know, I just thought mm, I was just curious to see what they were like. I'm not sure if they'll be really watery if I put them on like toast in the morning because that's sort of what I wanted them for. But I know you can put them in smoothies, which I don't think I've ever had an avocado smoothie. But, you know, I'm just going to see how it goes. It were under $5 for the bag. Diced onions, always good to have if you can get them. It is a lazy way of doing it, but I find it so easy. So I just got some of that. And this week we've just got two meals um, already organised here. I've got a silver side meal here. This is a, a silver side beef. It's a small one. And I also got a large whole chicken. So the chicken will last us for two nights. I may get one night out of the silver side and sandwiches for the next day, but that's probably it with that one. And I've grabbed the big large packet, 24 thin sausages, and I'm going to make a meal for Fill Your Freezer Friday out of these sausages. And um, yeah, so that's my grocery haul this week for under $200. I am going to also make some meat pies for the week, and we've got our chicken roast and our silver side and things like that. And um, yeah, so I'm going to also have a taco night because I've still got visitors here for the next few days. But other than that, thank you very much for watching today. Sorry about the voiceover. And I'll see you soon for um, the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.